I am Adil Kumar sharing with you questions on conditional probability and my approach in solving them will be very different from using the formula. Normally you know conditional probability formula is, let me discuss the formula first. If we need to find probability of event A when B has already happened then it is ratio of probability of event A and B right so that is intersection divided by probability of event B. So that is the formula which you can use to find any conditional probability solution, right? So that should be used most of the time. In my approach here, I will use common basic understanding, okay? Uh, let's look into the question. It says a card is drawn from a deck of 52 cards. Straightforward question. Now it says, what is the probability of drawing a king given that it is a face card? right so when you use the formula so how many face cards are there well king queen and jack three times four 12 face cards are there out of 52 so the probability will be okay let me write that down for you okay so so we get 12 face cards out of 52 so that is the probability of drawing a face card and what is the probability of drawing a king there are four kings out of 52 and that ratio is your answer uh, correct. Now what I'm saying here is, the question is, what is the probability of drawing a king given that it is a face card, right? So, so, so we are saying probability of king uh, from face card, right? So let's say face card, okay. So we are already given a face card. You know how many face cards are there? Well, the number of face cards, let me write like this, number of face cards, right? Face cards F and number of kings. Does it make sense? Because all kings are face cards. Do you understand? So since all kings are face cards, do you understand? Face cards. And therefore, the intersection is common, right? So we have uh, 4 over, total number of face cards are 12. So we get 4 over 12 or the answer is 1 over 3. Do you see that? So you could get conditional probability answers straight without using this complicated formula. Here also, it is the same thing, right? 4 over 12, which simplifies to 1 over 3. So it is important to understand that when we talk about probability with conditions, then the condition changes the sample space. So we can work with that modified sample space which is face card so we have four kings and 12 face cards and that gives us the result now this is a very good approach and i really uh, would like you to uh, adopt this approach especially for multiple choice questions and fill in the blanks and those kinds of questions okay the second one is for you to practice what is the probability of drawing a spade given the card is black now how many black cards are there so we say uh, number of number of spades is 13 and number of black cards is uh, 26 right 13 plus 13 26 so we have spades plus clubs right so these are the cards which are black so the probability is 13 over 26 does it make sense so I'm not using the formula but I'm just writing the result it is 13 over 26 50% right since it is the ratio of spades cards to the cards which are black right so that's how we could actually find solution of many conditional probability questions I hope you're getting the idea right so sometimes you are given probability of these things in decimal values then you have to use the formula I'm not saying you don't have to use it but there are times when you can use logic find the answer and put it there, especially for a multiple choice question or fill in the blanks. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope this tip helps you to save some time and get the right results. Thank you and all the best.